Hi guys, I'm back. I did a bit of cleaning, a bit of editing, and I just showered. I did a face mask, and now I'm going to read a book. So, for today's book, I chose two books. One is called um, The Art of Thinking Clearly, and then the other book, I think many of you guys might have read. It's called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F. This book itself, it's really really interesting and I get why it's also the number one bestseller. If you are curious of what I've been reading and things like that, you can follow me on my Instagram. I have created a new Instagram account and it's basically called Archived Folder. Archived with an ED. Hi guys, I'm back from filming two videos. I took a break. Um, I ate my dinner. Oh my god, back anger. I have to say, I really want to invest in like a mic that you know you can you can just like pop it in on your what do you call it onto your camera. Yeah. So basically, I am done filming. I, sorry, I'm also fixing this because I really need to set this up. Let me set this up really quickly. A little fancy, but... Yes, as I was saying, um, I just finished filming three videos. Today has been so productive and my table now is a mess. Let me show you guys. Oh my gosh, look at this. And since it's so messy, let me show you some of the things that I cannot live without. So, the first thing that every, I feel like everybody should have is actually this ombre and clay mask. I use this as an acne cream. This itself is actually a clay mask, but I use it as an acne cream. And I'll use it overnight. And the next morning, you can really tell that your acne just flattens. Another product that I cannot live without it's mask. This one really helped me when I was in Taiwan. The weather was pretty much cold, but it wasn't really, really cold. But I could tell that my skin wasn't used to the weather. And every single time I use this, the next morning, my skin just feels really, really hydrated. And whenever I put on cushion or any foundation on top, it just sits so nicely. So another product I would say it's a blue powder. This is actually a blusher but I use it to brighten my under eyes. It's a blue color blusher and this it's really really good for brightening areas like your under eyes, your nose, things like that. It really makes your whole entire look much more awake, much more clean and fresh. I'll always use a blue powder. Yeah so I think that's pretty much for my makeup favorites, my short, yes, my short makeup beauty favorites, but I'm gonna clean this up. Thank you. 